All right, this is going to be on the duplicate special. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make a cube. And then I'm going to use R to stretch it out so it's a little longer lengthwise. In fact, I'll go over it skinnier and actually maybe I'll make it a little shorter lengthwise. So, you know, something like that. So then I'll use W so that it's not in the center. Now what I need to do is I need to move the pivot point. And in order, because right now it rotates off the center. You move it off the center. Everything that happens to it is directly off of kind of the middle. If you press the D key, and then I use the arrow, I'm going to put it so the pivot point, this, this dot right there inside of that box, is right in the middle. Okay. Then I'm going to go up to the edit menu and I'm going to choose Duplicate Special and make sure to choose the Options box. And it brings up this. So what we're going to do is we're going to create, kind of so it goes around in a circle. So this is X, Y, and Z. So each one of these. I'm going to go to Edit and I'm going to Reset Settings because it's remembering settings from before. So let's say I want 19 copies because it counts the one I already drew. So that would make 20 total. And since there's going to be 20 objects and I'm going to make this go 360 degrees in a circle. So if I did 20 divided by 360, it would come to 18. So that is in my rotation. I want to rotate these 18 degrees on the Y axis. So if I go 18 in the Y, so remember, X, Y, Z, and then I click Duplicate Special. Ta-da! Looks pretty cool, huh? So an easy thing to do is if you're thinking, well, you know, what if I don't want that many? I could do Control Z, go back, go to Edit, go to Duplicate Special, and let's say I want to do um, 12 instead. I want to make it like a clock. So if I do 12 divided by 360 equals, oh, I did that backwards. 360 divided by 12 equals 30. Okay, so 11 copies, because we've already got my 12th. And um, did I say that was 36? I'm going to do that. <laughs> Duplicate special. There we go. So now it's, it's like a clock. So it just depends on how many objects you are. We'll make it rotate around like it's a circle. Okay, so that's that one. That's that duplicate. Now we're going to do a different duplicate, but we're going to need to go get a file from in Canvas. So if I go to Canvas, there's this assignment called Duplicate Special and Extrude, and it has this fish. So you need to download the fish file so that I can go back into Maya and do File Import, and then I need to go find that fish. So for me, it's in my downloads. Fish, fish. There it is. Fish Duplicate Special. So it brings in this fish, and I'm going to use W to delete one of them. So I'm going to select one and delete it, because I only want half. And then I'll move the fish so it's not in the ground, so it's just above my thing that I did. Okay? Really easy thing to do, because a lot of times it's very easy to model something. You know, you, you spend a lot of time modeling this. But trying to get it so it's exactly the same on both sides is really hard to do. So whenever you're doing something, it's kind of mirror modeling. You make it so it's perfectly flat. So like if I looked at it, see how it's all flat so that there won't be any gaps? Right now, the pivot point is right here on this line. That's where it's going to duplicate off of. So I'm going to press D, and I'm going to move this all the way to the edge of the fish. And you want to zoom in. And if I hover my mouse so that I'm in this one and press the space bar, it'll make this the full screen. And then you want to zoom in and use Alt and the middle mouse button to make it so it's right on the line of the fish. Just right exactly on that fish line. The more you zoom in, the more accurate it's going to be. So, so it's actually pretty good. I want it. There we go. All right. Now I'll go back up to Edit and Duplicate Special, and I'll choose the Options. And it remembers my stuff from before, so I'm going to go ahead and edit and reset settings, because I don't want more than one copy. 
So one copy, and I'm going to duplicate this on scale. Now scale is going to change the size. I don't want to change the size of my fish, I just want to change the direction it's facing. So if I just set it to a negative one on x, because look, it's on. I want it to flip on, on this way, which is x. So duplicate special. Ta-da! And now, because I was right there, you can see there's, there's no gap, there's no space. They are separate, I could move this, but, but they look like they are one. And I can actually make them one by selecting both, and going up to Mesh, and then choosing Combine. And now they're one object, I can't take them apart. So you would want to make sure you don't do that until you're certain that it's exactly how you wanted it to be. But I think I did a good job, so... Oh wait, nope, yeah, we're good. Okay, so there's your fish. Now we're going to do two other things with this. We're going to make some stairs, and we're going to do kind of a spiral. So I'm going to go back to this, and I'm going to go ahead and choose one of these, you know, cubes I've got on the side of the fish. And I need to change the pivot point on this one, so I'm going to go to top view so I can look at it from the top, press space, and then I'm going to press D, which will allow me to choose where this rotates off of. So for the stairs, let me think, I'm going to want it to come off of this edge. Okay, that looks about right. Then I'll go up to Edit, Duplicate Special, Edit Reset Settings so I don't get my negative thing like happened with the fish, and let's give it 11 copies. We want it to translate up one, meaning we want this thing to go up higher. Going, We're having it go up on Y, which means up by one. And we want it to move over by one as well. So that's why I'm going to put a one in the Z. And then I'll duplicate special. Now from this perspective, you don't see much, but if I switch to this one, see, I made stairs. Now if you, I can see that, you know, how much I made them rise up, maybe was too much. So if I did control Z and went up to edit, duplicate special options, I could maybe try doing it, rising it by 0.5 instead. Duplicate special. Mm, no, that was the over. My mistake, I should have changed it on the Y. And honestly, this is the big part about Maya, is sometimes you do it and then you go, oh, oh, right. So once you do it, you realize how you want to fix it. So I don't want it to go up quite so far, so I'm going to try 0.5 and duplicate special that. There we go. That's a little more like stairs. So there we go. Easy stairs. So now I'll come over to this side, and I need to look at it from the top again. Because we need to move this so that it's going to rotate off of one end. So D, once again, will let you move the pivot point. So I'm going to put that pivot point right there on the, the skinny end. And then I'm going to go to my edit and I'm going to duplicate special again. Edit reset settings so that it's back to the start. And once again I do want this to move upwards so I'm going to give it a... oh we'll do one. We'll do one again. And I do want it to move over as well on Z, so I'm going to make that a 1 as well. But what I'm also going to do on this one, oh wait, I'm looking at my wrong part, so I am going to leave that one as 0, I'm sorry. And then I'm going to rotate it by 30 degrees along Y, and I'm also going to rotate it 35 degrees along Z. And then these should all be 1, and let's go ahead and make 29 copies and duplicate special. Wow, that was all over. But you, you see how it kind of winds up? I could go back though, control Z, duplicate special options, and maybe the Y like before, I'll make it 0.5 instead of 1, duplicate special. And now they're closer together, kind of in this crazy spirals up. Okay, so get some sort of spiral going on. And that's good. 
Okay, next thing we're going to do is extruding. So I'm going to create a sphere, and then I'll move it so that it's... Remember, W brings up the Move tool. And we're going to do what's called extruding. So if you click and hold with the right mouse, and you go to face mode, and let's just have you, you know, go ahead and shift click about four, you know, maybe six. Remember, if you need to, you can zoom in and change the way you're looking at it. And we're going to extrude. There's two places you can find extrude. For one thing, you can go up to Edit Mesh, and there's extrude right there. It also has a little icon next to it that looks a lot like this, which is also extrude. Extruding creates new faces. So if I click and drag this out, it's not moving my old ones, it's creating new pieces. So the original faces that, are, that I selected, they're still under there. Okay. If you see where it says divisions, if I add to that three, you know, and click away, you'll see that that adds three little new sections in there. And then, of course, I can change the direction that it's going. How far out, far, how far over. Keep faces together is on. If I turn it off, you see how they split up. And then there's also offset, which if I hover over, you can see how it kind of will make it skinnier or it can widen it out. Just simple things like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to extrude along a curve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose one of these. And I'm going to go to Create, and there's something called Curve Tools. You've got Bezier Curve Tools. So I'll just go ahead and click the first point there, click here and drag, click over here and drag, and then I'll press Q for Quit. And it makes this line. Now if I go ahead and I hold down shift, well okay first I have to right click and go to face mode. Then I hold down shift so that I select this face. So now my curve and this face is selected and I can hit the extrude button and it comes out. Now right now it doesn't follow the curve at all because there's only one division, there's one piece. So if I had like 10 pieces to it, you see how it follows it along now? If I add, you know, 20 to it, it'll follow along even better. So obviously the more pieces I give it, the more curved it's going to be. Okay, so that's that. Now all that you need to do, I'm going to press Q for quit, is I just want you to get and, you know, rotate around at an angle so that I can see that you've done it all, that you've done the steps the twirls, the fish, and that extruded curve. So however you need to, so that I can see that you've also done that little circle thing. So even though it's a little chaotic, I can see that it's all done. Then you go up to here, this clapboard, and it brings up this rendered picture. Everything is visible. If you need to redo yours and move it around and take it again, that's fine. But once you've got one that shows everything, you just go File, Save Image, Make sure to change the file type to a JPEG, and then go ahead and save that. So my downloads is fine, I'll just call this uh, Duplicate and Extrude. Save. And now that's saved, you can save this so you can look at it later, but then you just need to go into the Duplicate Special assignment and go ahead and submit that. And then you're done. Nice job. You finished your first assignment.